Yo, what's up guys? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we are up against VRK Gangster in our World Guild battle. We are not fooling around as well because the Siege Battle Tournament is coming up real soon next week. And we kind of need to prepare for it, alright? So for this one, we are gonna be taking things seriously. We just finalized our picks and for the fifth round, I am gonna be using a very premium LD Net 5 comp. I think on paper, it works really well together because we got AoE strips, we got bomb, we got armor break into silence, and also slow debuff, push back, sleep from the monkey. However, I am not gonna be showing the runes for this video because I do not want to leak anything. Probably, I'll be using some of these units for defense as well coming into the Siege, siege Battle Tournament. So, yeah. But you understand the gist of it, right? Like, what unit should move first and whatnot. You can see the speed tuning. I think once you get the hang of that, then you should have no issues on how to ruin your units for your offense. It's very straightforward. So this is one of the best turn 2 lineups that I actually like whenever I'm facing the Chandra, Narsha, and the Tessarion. First things first, we remove the Chandra because of the hug. It's gonna be very annoying. Nice big damage coming out from Diaz, surprisingly. So now Oblivion landed onto our Diaz though. And we don't have any clans just yet. Uh oh. We got one shot. <laughs> uh, we need to bring down this Nasha ASAP, by the way. Can you aim the Lulu, please? Okay, thankfully we are back to full life. This should do the trick. 2v1 against the Tessarion. I think we should be fine. Even if you land the Oblivion, your fire at the end of the day. Yeah, water prevails. Big damage done. We just cleanse that into the additional turn kill. Moving on to the third round. Come on. Huh. This mermaid... No runes, is it? <laughs> She took so much damage. Man, Dark Siri is so nice. I really like this unit. So now we even landed the counter armor break onto the Miang as well as the Driller. Okay, something is definitely gonna die here. Oh, the damage output is so good. You know, my Dark Siri is just on a speed HP attack without any crit rate. <laughs> And we are able to do like what, 7-8k on armor break per hit. That's actually pretty decent, you know. And we are also quite tanky as well because I do have very good sub stats for the attack rune that I actually place on it. So, good stuff. Alright, this one, we removed the Kaki, which is the damage dealer. We are getting quite a lot of additional turns as well. Probably bring down the Savannah here. And there's no more armor break on his side. So it's gonna be a very simple 3v1 against the more all his damage dealers are dead. And we can just press the auto button. Oh, I cannot wait for the Siege Battle Tournament, guys. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see who will actually come out ahead as champions for this season. Because I feel like Illuminate has been so consistent throughout uh, this season 14, if I'm not mistaken. So, once again, we are on to our premiums. Nice double stun. Okay, so as long as Gianna can strip stun, our combo is definitely gonna work because they are kind of speed tuned very, very closely towards each other. Armor break, glancing, heal block, slow debuff, sleep, push back, everything in two skills. <laughs> I really like this team. Alright, we can even go for the all or nothing here. We got double stuns into the additional turn. Manon is dead. And there's nothing to save the Sierra. With that bomb intact as well, we can start working on to the Nora. Nora down to the last hit. We don't even need to use the second skill because this one is definitely in the bag. I really like this lineup a lot. Maybe I'll implement it in future offense for our Siege. Next up, we'll be facing this guy who has a Bella on defense. However, yeah, just one LD Nat 5, I think it's fine. We can always go for the Camilla team, right? So this one, we're gonna go with the Galleon, Tiana, and Tayar. Tayar should do great damage here. Come on. 
We even got the pushback onto two. Very simple cleave. And we can also just squall this Chandra away. 78,000 damage. <laughs> Man. Yeah, there's quite a lot of variants that we can actually play when we have Tiana, Galen, Naftis, Ezio, and stuff like that, you know? So this one, the Wind Docker Lord. Is he gonna solo my whole team? We'll see about that. But so far, we have the upper hand, you know? So let's just try to work on to the Fire Bayek. Alright, great stuns. We can place a bomb onto the face of this Byungchul. How I wish I have that unit. I really need it. I hope I can get it in my Net5 event. So far, it's 8 dupes. <laughs> 8 out of 8 dupes. I am so sad, but hopefully we can we can end things strongly. Hopefully Comptos gives us something new as well. Haven't got any of the Dock of Lords, honestly. Not even the Fire one. So hopefully we'll pull it soon. I think the bomb is gonna kill off this Byungchul. Very nice. This team is so good. If Gianna lands the strip. <laughs> Man, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so this one, we're just gonna boost up our CV. And I think first things first, we'll try to bring down the Ophelia. Look at that amount of damage done on a HP build. So good. Okay, threat state is up. Uh, nice increased cooldown time though. Oh my god, we need to make sure that our Vitra stays alive though. We need more heals, man. Okay, nice proc. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of turns. We'll just place some dots onto the other two units. Okay, perfect. Invincibility buff. Do we have the strip? Next turn. Oh, that's a lot of damage onto the mermaid. Good strip. So consistent. Look at that. Probably one of the best net force in game right now. Personally, I like it a lot, you know. So, gets the additional turn. Oh my god, three turns from the Ophelia. Our Rakuni able to heal up, but our Vicha might be in trouble though. Come on. Additional damage built. Able to bring down the Ophelia, very nice. And can we proc? Nope. Uh, let's just place some dots here. Perfect. We can just boost up to secure the win. Yeah, nothing is gonna die on my end. Man! The net force won net fives. <laughs> very good. Okay, this one, I am gonna be holding on to the strip. I think that should be the plan. Go for the triple crush. Yeah, we just tried to kill off the Kakano. Very good. Now we can hug. Got a stun onto the Dominic as well. So I'm gonna use my Zen strip only when the Wusa plays the thing. But we are already killing off the team of the whole opponent. Hmm. Yeah, the Wusa ain't doing shit. <laughs> Man, look at all these stuns. Zen's second skill together with Tiomars is brutal, you know? You place the, the tie and then Tiomars one punch, big damage onto everyone. This combo also very fun. And last but not least, I think it's safe to say, we are gonna be well prepared for the Siege Tournament. <laughs> Just when I say that, I know Violent Prox is gonna screw my ass, you know? So this one, should be a very simple Belial. We just go for the buff here. If I think we can just Madness Judgment, no problem. Yeah, 40k damage. Able to bring down the Dark Unit. And we can try to heal our Belial back to full life as well. Yeah, this should hasten things up. So we're definitely gonna get quite a lot of reduced cooldown time onto the Belial. Try to get our second skill up and running. ASAP, alright? So we just go for the immunity right now. We don't need all these procs, but we'll take it. Okay, the Camilla getting quite a lot of turns. I think next turn we should be able to bring down this Camilla already because we do have the Madness Judgment, alright? So let's see here. Can we one shot this Camilla? 
Boom. Oh, not enough. Wow. Oh, also because we are full life. <laughs> we kind of forgot. I was wondering why the damage is so low. Yeah, I needed to die there, probably. So we need one more Madness Judgment up and running. Come on. This Camilla is just stalling us at this point. Just die, just die. Bro, how are you still alive? Come on, Riley. Yeah, this should kill. Perfect. So for this one, we did get 10 wins out of 10. Yeah, we have the build confidence because I think the past couple of sieges we actually played really badly. Quite a lot of losses here and there. So from here on out, I am gonna be focusing just trying to get 10 wins for every kind of content in terms of siege guild battle that I can get to prepare ourselves for the tournament, alright? So let's just try to summon here. Yeah, we just... Collect these three scrolls, burn it. Hopefully we can get Byungcho. Damn it. <laughs> Come on. Give us a wind lightning. So that's gonna be it for this one then. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Take care, stay safe my friends, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.